welcome to the vlog. It's uh, been a bit, so let's just have some fun today. It's Saturday and it's gonna be nice today. It's been cold and springy weather and not so fun stuff like that. So today is gonna be a nice day and Harrison's got a soccer game. We bought something fun that I want to use tonight and then just pretty much hanging out the rest of the day. Nothing too special, but we'll do some life updates and stuff like that. I realized as I was doing the editing on this vlog that there really wasn't much to it. So I decided I'll just do a voiceover and kind of give you a bit of a life update this way instead. Life has been busy as usual, which is normal with everybody, you know, who doesn't have a busy life. But unfortunately, we did receive some bad news in regards to Curtis's mom's health and an eventual diagnosis of lymphoma. She is doing fairly well right now. She is going through chemotherapy and every so often it is kicking her butt and she doesn't do the greatest but so far she's getting better every day slowly day by day. Skye is doing fairly well with her heart failure diagnosis. She's currently on a new medication than what she has previously been on as she's still having some heart arrhythmias and I've touched on Harrison's ADHD diagnosis just a little bit. I'll go into more depth on that in a later video. It's been a learning curve and it's been really, 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 really hard. <laughs> Emphasis on the really. We deal with a lot of behavior issues, a lot of anger, and some days I just want to throw in the towel. There is a part of me that worries that his behavior and anger issues are due to his head. So I am thinking I might call up the ophthalmologist and get him in for an optic nerve pressure test. Because one sign of intracranial pressure from cranial synostosis is behavior and anger issues, changes, things like that. So a part of me wants to just double check and make sure he is fine that way because I worry and I'm nervous and I just wanna make sure everything's okay on that front. Harrison graduated from preschool just a couple days ago and and he had a cute little graduation ceremony where he wore a cap and gown and there was a little singing program that he was in. But as for me, it is spring and it is getting warmer and I'm able to go outside more. Being stuck inside in the cold and dreary weather does not help my mood and mental aspect because me along with my ADHD child need to be outside. He needs the outlet of being able to wreak all of the havoc outside instead of indoors and I need the space for him to do so. And it allows my ADHD brain to doom scroll on the clock app. Anywho, 